Hey guys, it's Nick from Part Time Pilot. Uh, quick video today on required aircraft documents. So, um, while you yourself as a pilot have to have required documents that prove that you are able to fly and you're legal to fly, your aircraft has to have documents that are up to date and prove that the aircraft is legal to fly. So, what is the com common mnemonic device that we use uh, to remember this? That's Aero. So, that's A R. R O W. All right, so what do these all stand for? So the A stands for the airworthiness document. The first R, it stands for the registration. The second R, uh, which we'll get into, is probably not required for you, but it's radio operator license. And again, we'll get into details on each of these in a sec. And then O is gonna be your operating limitations. W is going to be the weight and balance. All right, so, so what are some details that you have to remember either for your FA written test or uh, your check right oral. All right, so for airworthiness, it does not have, this document does not have an expiration date. It is valid as long as your aircraft follows all the maintenance requirements. So that includes all the required inspections, which will be another video, and all the airworthiness directives. So as long as the maintenance is kept up to date, um, and it's marked correctly in the logbook and performed by a correct mechanic, uh, your airworthiness doc document uh, will stay valid. Okay, so the registration of the aircraft is just like a car. This does need to be renewed. It's good for three years or whenever it changes ownership. So uh, as soon as it changes ownership, it needs a new registration with that new owner. Um, otherwise, it needs to be renewed every three years. A radio operator license is only required it for international flights and flights over borders. Um, so as long as you're staying within the United States, this is not required. Okay, the operating limitations. This one, where do you find these? Well, these can be in the approved POH, Pilot Operating Handbook, or AFM, whichever your aircraft have, whichever is the pr uh, approved document for your aircraft. It all, can also be on placards or markings inside your aircraft. So things like uh, markings on the airspeed indicator, uh, little placards that might say additional speeds or throttle settings. Uh, these are the operating in, uh, limitations. So it includes all of that. So anything in the POH or any of those placards uh, on the aircraft or markings on the aircraft, all those combined uh, make up the operating limitations. So obviously the placards and markings are going to be with the aircraft at all time uh, But you're also going to have to carry the operating limitations with you that are in the approved POH or AFM And then finally is the weight and balance and the weight and balance with an updated empty weight uh, This that last part is very key. I actually knew someone who failed uh, Their check ride because they had the wrong empty weight for the aircraft the empty weight for an aircraft can change if things get installed uh, that add to that empty weight. Um, so you have to make sure that uh, whatever the approved uh, AFM or POH is, that it gets updated if that happens. Um, but the weight and balance is going to be found in the flight manual or POH. Uh, so that is why you bring that along with you and uh, you perform your weight and balance. So these are the Aero uh, required aircraft documents. If you have any questions, uh, like always, please comment below and smash that like button for us. It helps us uh, rate Google. And uh, if you're not following us on Instagram at part period time period pilot, go check that out. Uh, we just started doing FAA written quizzes in our stories. Uh, so it's an easy follow, uh, helpful tips. And then just throughout your day, you can be uh, boning up on some of your material and getting ready for that FAA written. So check us out over there on Instagram. And thanks for watching.